welcome back everyone so today i will be creating the most powerful usb that will be containing many kind of operating system and many kind of utilities tool and it's really recommended that every pc user must have this all-in-one multi-bootable usb as this will help you to install any kind of operating system troubleshoot many kind of problem run different kind of anti-viruses so that you can troubleshoot and delete all kind of infection viruses and hacker and even you get many other utilities to do any kind of data recovery and resetting your windows forgotten password so there are many other things that you can do with this multi-bootable usb and that what we will be discussing in this video but before you starting guys if you find this video informative then please hit the like subscribe turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming videos notifications and you can also join my membership so that you can live chat with me to fix any kind of your PC and laptop problem. Okay, now before proceeding, it's also recommended guys that you must have at least 32 gigabyte of USB or pen drive because the maximum storage you will have, maximum number of operating system and utilities you can store on this multi-bootable USB. So at least it's recommended that you should have 32 gigabyte. Alright, so connect your USB drive to your PC or your laptop. Then you will have to come to this website of Ventoy. And here you have to click on download. And then you have to click on Ventoy 1.0.97 windows.zip. Click on it. And it will take you to the source forge page. And here you have to click on download latest version. And your downloading will be started quickly. So it's around 15.9 MB and it will be quickly downloaded. So open the downloaded folder. Now right click on the Ventoy zip file, click on extract all, choose the location wherever you want to extract, then click on extract. And once it will be extracted, you will be getting this Ventoy folder, double click on it. And here you will find Ventoy to disk.exe. Now make a right click on it, click run as admin, click on yes. And this kind of simple box of Ventoy to disk will now be coming up. Now as soon as it comes up, on the very top in the device section, you will find that it has automatically detected a pen drive. So if you have connected multiple USB, so make sure that you click on the drop down and choose the right USB that you want to make multi-bootable USB. Okay, so I will choose the Kingston one that contains 64 GB of storage. I will select it. And then finally, you will have to click on install. And it says the device will be formatted and all the data will be lost. So make sure that if this pen drive contain any kind of data, then you can take the data backup first and then proceed with this step. So click on yes, click on yes. And the process will be started and it won't take much time. So kindly wait for a few seconds. And once it will be created, you will be getting a message. Congratulations, when toy has been successfully installed to the device. So click on OK. And now you can close this setup box. Now if I open up my file explorer, so now you can see that my Kingston pen drive of around 60 gigabyte has been converted to Ventoy. And if I click on it, it's empty. And now we are ready to move all kind of ISO and utilities in this Ventoy USB. So in the next step, you will have to download all kind of ISO that you want to add to this Ventoy USB. So I will be recommending you that first you download uh, this Kaspersky Rescue Disk that is will be helping you to fix any kind of hacking issues, delete all kind of viruses, malware and trojan. Alternatively, you can also go with the ASET uh, Rescue Disk. So it's all up to you. I will be downloading the Kaspersky here. So once you come up here, you will have to click on the download and the ISO downloading will be started. Next, I will be downloading the Windows 11 ISO. So you will be getting this link and here you have to click on select download choose windows 11 multi edition click on download now choose the product language click on confirm and then you can click on 64 bit download and the windows 11 iso downloading will be started similarly you can download the windows 10 iso and if you also want to download windows 7 i will leave the link in the description next i will be downloading the kali linux so here you have to come to this website then you have to click on recommend it then you have to choose your architecture 64 bit or 32 bit and then you will have to click on this download icon to start downloading the iso of kali linux next we will be downloading the ubuntu 
so again you will be getting this link in the description you can come here and download the ubuntu iso from here next we will be using the very popular utility software that is iron boot cd that give you tons of utilities for data recovery for fixing many kind of blue screen problem for doing any kind of troubleshooting and even helping you to reset your windows 10 or 11 password then we will be using the tail os that is a plug and play operating system to securely browse anything on the internet without leaving any kind of trace then we have the jeep parted this is another popular tool that will be helping you to do many kind of a uh, disk management like creating or deleting a partition resizing it or changing the label or converting the partition from mbr to gpt and many other things all right so this is also recommended you can download this one and now you can also use the medicat usb that is another popular tool that you can add in this ventoy usb and it gives you a lot of features that will be helping you with many kind of uh, scenarios like doing many kind of troubleshooting uh, using different kind of utilities so if you want to use medicat as well then you can use medicat now i'm only taking few of the images here a part of this if you want to download any kind of other iso if you need more recommendation then you can let me know in the comment section i can let you know that what all other iso you can download so once you have downloaded all the iso now you will have to come to your ventoy usb open it and now you will have to drag and drop all this iso that you have downloaded okay so instead of dragging and dropping i will select all these iso i will copy it and paste in the ventoy usb now this will take a lot of time because it's a huge space that i'm transferring from my another drive to the ventoy usb so let's wait until all this transfer has been completed then next i will show you what you have to do next okay so finally all the iso has been added to our ventoy usb and we have added gparted live iron bootable usb kali linux kaspersky rescue disk tail usb ubuntu windows 10 and windows 11 i will be also sharing few of more iso and if you want to add them then you can go ahead and add them all right so we are also completed with the second step now in the final step we have to connect this multi bootable usb ventoy usb to a computer where we want to install any kind of operating system where we want to do any kind of troubleshooting or use any other kind of utilities so let me quickly connect this ventoy usb to my virtual machine and show you that how exactly this work all right so i have connected my ventoy usb to my this windows 11 machine so i will now restart this machine so that i can boot it with the ventoy usb restart the computer and depending on your manufacturer you will have to use the different bios key to start the computer in the bios mode where you can change the boot priority order okay i'm using a virtual machine so i'm getting this kind of interface so here i have to select the usb device now depending whichever pc or laptop you're using there can be different kind of interface so you will have to boot with the usb device that you have connected all right now additionally what else you will have to do from your bios only you will have to disable the secure boot option all right because many time this multi bootable usb might not work properly so you will have to disable the secure boot and after that you will have to boot with this ventoy usb and this you will have to do every time whenever you have to use the ventoy usb all right so now you can see that we have the ventoy dashboard over here and we can find all kind of iso over here so we can use windows 10 windows 11 we can install any one of them we can go and use ubuntu we can go and use tail operating system that is the plug and play operating system we can do any kind of troubleshooting with the viruses we can clean the virus we can delete all kind of malware and infection using the kaspersky rescue disk similarly if you want to uh, install the kali linux you can do that you can use the different utilities using the iron bootable usb you can use the g parted live to do any kind of partition work now why i say this usb has the most powerful usb because this single usb contain all kind of operating system all kind of live operating system many kind of utilities tool like tail os iron bootable usb even you can add the medicat usb 
and after that you can use it for many kind of purposes like installing any operating system troubleshooting any kind of operating system running any kind of live operating system deleting any kind of viruses malware recovering any kind of your data or resetting the windows forgotten password many kind of things you can do with this single usb and trust me guys if you have any usb that contains 32 or 64 gigabyte of storage then you must create this one single usb with you because it will be helping you with different scenarios in the future so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye